Good evening. Just over two hours from now, members of the Aptos community and leaders from the Pajaro Valley School District will meet to talk about school safety tonight in the wake of the deadly stabbing of a 17-year-old student at Aptos High School earlier this week. Two students have been arrested in connection to this case. Good evening. Thanks for being here for KION News at 5. I'm Veronica Macias. The school has been closed for two days and students are now preparing to return tomorrow. Today, KION's Jonathan Saravia spoke with Aptos High School students about their scheduled return to campus and why they believe the presence of law enforcement is important in making them feel safe. Veronica, people have been stopping by here at Aptos High School, leaving flowers and balloons just like the ones behind me in memory of the student who was killed, and many are still in disbelief. Aptos High School students are scheduled to return to campus Friday. The school was closed for two days after a 17-year-old senior was killed on Tuesday. One Aptos High School junior says he feels comfortable returning, but he says it's still hard to believe this happened at a place he considers to be safe. Very unfortunate and very unexpected that that would ever happen. I, I wouldn't think that in my high school experience I would ever experience that happening. Another 11th grader says it took me a while to accept what happened. He says that coming back to school can be good for everyone, including students who were impacted the most. He says being with teachers, counselors and classmates will help them deal with the tragedy. I think that uh, we definitely need to ease back into it and uh, resources like maybe uh, getting some air or something or even getting professional uh, counselors and uh, people that know how to deal with trauma like that. Students here told me they believe having law enforcement officers on campus could provide a safe environment and prevent situation like this week's incident from happening. The Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office says they will have a strong presence at the school Friday as students return for the first time since the stabbing. We want everyone to feel as safe as possible after going through this horrific, horrific incident. Um, additionally, we have staffing planned for deputies to be at the high school all through next week. Um, after that, we will continue to, to talk with the school district, speak with the principal, and uh, we'll see where the district decides to go from there. Veronica, the Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office says because this is an ongoing investigation and the suspects and the victim are underage, they will not be releasing their identity. Reporting from Aptos, Jonathan Sarabia, KION News, Channel 546.